It's now a decade since Japan's catastrophe. The earthquake and the ensuing tsunami that day wrought an unprecedented destruction. While Japan's since made a lot of progress, it's been a long road to recovery. The number of disaster refugees which reached 470,000 immediately after the earthquake dropped to 43,000 as of October with the completion of necessary living spaces and environmental preparations. Support was given for restoring the facilities and equipment to revive the industry. Fund support is provided to small and medium-sized enterprises Aid wasn't just limited to material things, but also for people with physical and mental damage so they could rebuild their lives in a new environment. These programs also include children. The greatest concern following the tsunami was the nuclear power plant disaster in Fukushima. With fears, the radiation would leak for many years to come. But even there, Japan has made some headway. Purification works in the Fukushima region have been completed and evacuees have returned. Housing preparations, educational facilities, health and transportation infrastructure are continuing as planned. Much of the credit for the recovery goes to the regional administrators. Due to the COVID outbreak, a TRT team met with the regional mayors by way of a robot camera system. A tsunami well over 12 meters hit our town. We began by ensuring that those who lost their homes settled in higher places in disaster homes. Then we rebuilt their homes and schools. We made changes on the shore and fixed up the roads. Erasing the traces of the disaster and rebuilding the region has been Japan's priority. Our main concern has been to build new houses for people so they could restart their lives. The tsunami caused more damage to our region than the earthquake. We have taken safety measures against the risk of another tsunami. Our goal is to create a city that's strong and safe against disasters. The efforts of Turkish rescue workers following the disaster haven't been forgotten. The team was able to recover the bodies of four victims. One of them belonged to the grandmother of Masatoshi Sato. The team leader, Yalchen Mumju, met with Masatoshi years later via a robot camera. Thank you so much for finding our grandmother's body. We were in great despair at that time. Turkey helped us. We never forget that day. And the sentiment is shared by local officials who closely follow the rescue work. We were very scared and helpless. The Turkish team who helped us at such a time encouraged us. Those orange-colored clothes and the vehicle was very impressive. We would like to sincerely thank Turkey for their effort. In the first days after the earthquake, we were in a state of chaos. We would like to sincerely thank the Turkish president and Turkey for quickly sending a rescue team of more than 30 people. Although Japan has mostly recovered over the last 10 years, the decommissioning of the Fukushima nuclear plant will take decades longer.